This is the LG Cooks back. Haven't talked to you in a while. Um, just decided I'd make a, I guess, a video series now of this. Uh, I'm gonna be getting this thing back into running condition, and then I'm figure out what I'm gonna do from there. But uh, so far, I got this. It's an old. I'm not sure what model has the standard shift. So, so then I need another seat for it. It's, this tire, somebody tried to take off the transaxle, and then it, and they didn't want to finish the job, so they kept it halfway off, and it rusted halfway onto it. So that's kind of bad uh, the just the wheels the uh, steer I don't it doesn't have a steering wheel the steering is uh, locked up actually it won't move so let's see if I can't grab let's see if I'll let me this down for a second Okay, get the vice grips on there. Nothing's moving. Before I got this thing, I should have showed you it. Uh, this right here, along here, it was just froze up with rust and the bearing <laughs> just fell to pieces. It's supposed to hold it in. There's the steering gear. Here's the engine. Here was the original cover on it. Had a wasp nest in it. Of course it was empty. Bought this whole thing for 20 bucks. Uh, let's see. Set that down. This uh, engine's bad. As you can see this. There's no uh, magneto. It broke off. It has a the stud right here broke off. It's supposed to, yeah, you know how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like this one right here, if you can see it. Um, so, I'm not going to get that redone, and it has uh, no compression. And the next thing somebody's going to say is that it doesn't have a spark plug in it. That's why it doesn't have any compression. Well, it had a spark plug in it, but I took it out because it was uh, fairly new and saved it. Um, anyway, so here's the one that I'm putting in it after this. This is one of the more heavy-duty tractors that they made, lawn tractors. But, uh, and then here's another engine. I went, uh, diving down in an old, uh, <clears throat> little thing where a lot of people that I know, uh, through their mower engines whenever they I don't know what well, I don't know why but it's good for me it's not seized it has good compression that was just the compression stroke before that it's Tecumseh I'm not very fond of them but got this it's a 12.5 classic uh, mower from down there I think all that was wrong with it was you know, somebody thought that it had that it was seized but the starter was uh, bad on it. Oh, uh, whenever I got that mower, I also got this one. Of course it looks different than it was. This is the hood. I got uh whenever I got it, this whole thing was just all cracked up the front of it. So I just got this other hood with the front of it perfect um, and I just swapped them out I just swapped the fronts of them out um, this is just the junky hood and I just fixed this up to where it's worth something now um, as you can see it has no nothing wrong with it everything's good just has a little rust on it 
but I didn't really like how the how that looked with so much rust on it. But anyway. So and then I I had to take the hood off to get through all this. But it's I don't know, I gotta I just pulled off the bowl and poured out the old gas, but I need to rebuild the carburetor. I didn't even take it all off, I just kinda let it hang there for a little bit while I cleaned out the bowl and drained out the old gas and made sure new gas was going in right. Uh, Should have rebuilt the whole thing, but anyway. Yeah, I don't. Got to make a custom steering wheel for this, I guess. Just the hell of it here. So, can't really see anything that it says on there. I can't see it. Um, but anyway, so this just came with that deck. It's all rusted out. If you can see, there's horrible rust spots in it. So I think I'm going to take this deck off. I'm going to mow with it a few times. See if it doesn't fall to pieces. That's not a lot of rust. Kind of see the holes in there. But, yeah, so, this is, shouldn't be put like that. So, the more I've been jumping it off of that one, off of this Craftsman 2, it's a good deck on and everything. But the, the diode on it keeps getting shot. I don't know if it's gone yet or not, but I just had it replaced, and... I think it did it again, but I'm not 100% sure because it's not recharging it. it. Once I've been jumping off of this one, I start it up whenever the battery gets weak. Um, but if you want to hear this thing go, I don't know if it'll go now or not. See, it's not getting any gas at all inside the carburetor. I've been trying to mess with the governor. Uh, see if that might be the problem. Hope I don't pour too much in here. Be enough but <clears throat> let's see if it'll jump it wasn't the starter wasn't even turning there was such low voltage see it only runs on the gas that you pour into it so <laughs> that's my problem with it but it still fires it's a IC gold 12.5 horsepower classic so I'm going to be getting these two going. It's going to be in the same video. See, see I'm at 8 minutes and 8 seconds, so better. Anyway. I'm leaving it without the mower deck because it's such a good mower with that. I don't think I'm going to paint it up. I just, I know it sounds stupid, but I mean, 